Greetings, YouTube. I just pulled off what I would consider to be the greatest cheese RNG I've ever had in the eternity of pain by far. Spider ham was my go-to to get about 20 to 25% if I was lucky. Uh, damage down in one run before I got knocked out. Look, a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, Oh, he sucks. His skills are pathetic. I don't even know why he's doing a video on this. Because this is how I did it. I'm going to tell you how I did it, how many revives I used. It's my YouTube channel. I'm not doing this to try to get a one shot. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this for the people who don't think it's possible to get even a point in Eternity of Pain. I'm doing this for the average summoners that don't consider themselves to be the best of the best, but want to get some rewards at the end of this event. This is for you all. My channel is not for perfect skill. It's for hopefully relatability. Uh, plus, we got to bark the chicken because uh, I'm wearing the bark the chicken shirt. Hey! Okay. So, I just completed, I believe, my last point. There he is. An Eternity of Pain with Ultron. Now, I'm going to show you after I claim this uh, a picture of what I was able to do. So, Spider Ham, I got 31% health down. And I said, okay, screw it. That's good enough for me. He's worth three points for wallet breaker players. I'm going to uh, be fine with that. But not Ultron. So I'm going to hide this real quick. Bring up the photos and have you read and weep. Before I started doing this sort of accidental corner cheese, uh, this was Spider-Ham, right? So Spider-Ham, I got 31% down. Ultron... 60% down before he finally fired a special three. And of course I got knocked out. That's crazy to me. This cheese involves just two things, getting him in the corner and spamming special ones. That's it. That's the strategy. And uh, we'll go back to the game. And we'll claim our point. So, I am now at 16 points? Yeah. So if I was to end it today, which of course I don't want to, half a tier 3 alpha, half a tier 6 basic, 26 star 6 stones, 5 25% tier 5 class catalyst fragment crystals, and a 6 star nexus selector. That's, that's a good four weeks of work. That's a good month of work by itself. The, the crazy thing is, I had more revives at my disposal that are going to expire. Like, I needed to use this team revive, which I was just going to use as a solo revive because it's a level 2. Uh, potions. So I guess I might do a little variant content now. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that might be my my day-to-day. -day. Who knows? So, um, here's the deal. I brought in Ultron. And I noticed... If I could spam special ones and keep getting the power to refresh and he doesn't fire off a special, I can do some good damage. So I start off with a normal combo and I'll just show you what. So you stun, special one. Stun, special one. Now this is where the RNG takes over. See right there, he went for a special three. So I'm probably screwed. Actually, I'm not screwed. Interesting. So if you do that at the beginning and you get some bad RNG, of course, this is a six star rank three, you could still survive it. Uh, I would not recommend <laughs> going all the way down there. Um, so that was my strategy. I've only done 12% damage here. Come on. No, he's going to get to it. So he's really aggressive with the special. Now, I still did 18% damage, right? But he was very aggressive with the two special threes. There, let's just see. I want to get this on camera, but I knew that it was so lucky that he was just passive RNG. I kept degenerating him and then stun locking him. And maybe Kabam right now is realizing this and they're turning up the AI to be more aggressive. I don't know. But what I do know is Ultron between the regeneration 
and the stun is fantastic. So he fires off that special one, and the problem is now he's stun immune. So now if I do a special one, he's not gonna he's immune to it. Now he's still gonna get the degen damage, right? And now he's stunnable. So let's let's just try it. One special one, two special ones. He's in the corner. Uh, I'm gonna hit into his block, and then again I got very lucky. He would hit into my block. I would parry. Still amazed I'm not knocked out though after that special three. That shows how much health he has. But you know, 20, 26% damage done is pretty good for just casually showing this. Okay, stun lock. Stun lock. You know, now that I think of this, I just got 47% damage down on camera. You might be watching this saying, oh, that's nothing. He's a noob. He's a basic. All the hateful things people love to say to me. But I'm proud of this. That means in no revives, I got 47% health down. So Ultron cheese. And if you get lucky with the RNG and he's not aggressive with the special three, you can knock down 60-70% health in one run. Gotta love the regen. Ultron Awakened, of course, helps soak up the energy damage. Uh, turn it into health. So, yay! Ultron Cheese for the robot point.